What's up guys, Crispy here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to go over some of my recent faves for skincare. So I've been really trying out a lot of products that are good for your skin and a lot of products that are a little bit more natural wearing except for right now because I'm in like full glam right now. Before we jump into the video, I just wanted to give you a little quick reminder to make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and that you turn on post notifications so you don't miss when I upload a new video. Recently, I've started a new exfoliation routine in my skincare. Before, I would just do like kind of a superficial scrub in the shower, but nothing too major. And then when I started doing these fitness vlogs, I saw how patchy my skin looked. And it's also because, you know, I'm always spray tanning or putting on loving tan lotion at home. And I realized, I was like, wow, that's really gross because it's the dead skin that's sticking to your skin. Oh no, that the tanner is sticking to. And it was just really patchy and gross. So I started um, exfoliating. And I noticed after I exfoliate, even if I don't put on tanner the next day, my skin just looks so much more youthful. Any of the Glam Glow peel off masks do such a quick, efficient job for exfoliating. I feel like it does a better job than when I'm actually in the shower scrubbing my face. And I could be totally wrong, but I'm, I have a bunch of them and all the, the different colors. There's like purple, silver. I even use like a green one. Oh, this one is like a white. You can't really see. You can hold the cap up. Anyways, you put it on, you wait for about, I don't even know how long, 20 minutes or something, or you just wait until it's dry. Text message. And when you peel it off, it just makes your skin look so smooth and clean, and it's definitely become part of my routine. I wanted to mention this Virgin Marula Oil from Drunk Elephant. This is one of my favorite oils for nighttime. After I wash my face, I put it on and I, I'll even put it over the eye area and it's not too oily and gross. It actually like absorbs into the skin. Um, and I just feel like the next day my skin is way more moisturized. Um, there's not as many like fine lines. And yeah, this is definitely one of my favorites. I really love Drunk Elephant. I think I have a couple more products from Drunk Elephant I'm gonna mention in this video especially when I'm traveling, that oil is a lifesaver. And I'll, I'll put it down into my neck and definitely on my hands too, because when I'm traveling, um, I just dry up like a freaking prune. Another nighttime product that I've really been loving is this Ola Hendrickson Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. I'll layer these products too. Like I feel like sometimes it comes with a little info card and it's like do A, B, and C. And then I forget and I just like slather them all on. <laughs> but this one is so good. I noticed my skin tone looks more even when I put this one on more consistently. I feel like I jump around in so many products, um, but when I'm using this one, I definitely notice my skin just looks brighter and more even toned. And definitely, of course, it helps with the moisturizer. I pair this one with another Ula product, Hold Please. This one is really nice. I'll use this one in morning, for morning and night. This one is collagen boosting, so I just feel like my skin looks more plump and it's it's even good, oh, I'm running low. I feel like it's good for even underneath the makeup. Um, it completely absorbs into the skin, so I'll use this one at morning and night. And then I'll also put it down onto my neck because she gonna get wrinkled too, so you know. Anyways, so yeah, this, this is definitely one of my favorites. And again, I feel like it helps out with um, the moisture and the tone of my skin. Up next, we're gonna talk about eye creams. So what had happened was, when I was uh, out of town, I didn't have an eye cream with me. Oh wow, what an emergency. But when I got home, dude, it was like all dry underneath my eyes and crusty and wrinkly and not cute. So I figured out that it was the eye cream. I think, I, honestly, I switched to an eye cream and I think it was messing me up, I don't like it. So since I got home, I've been using my eye creams again. I feel like it's finally slowly getting back to normal. I use a bunch of eye creams. La Mer is one of my favorites. This one smells so nice. It's soothing when it goes on. And yeah, and the next day I just feel like my eyes are smooth. They're moisturized. Um, I definitely don't use this one under makeup. I don't use any sort of eye cream under makeup. Just because it's too heavy, it'll get gunky. This is definitely more of a nighttime product. And I layer this one with the other oils or face creams too. A different eye cream that I use all the time, I love this one, sometimes I'll grab it instead of the La Mer, is the Confidence in an Eye Cream Anti-Aging Armor from IT Cosmetics. This one's really nice too, I'd say it has the same effects. 
Soothing when it goes on, smells decent. Wait, does it smell like anything? It doesn't smell bad. We could say that with confidence. Anyways, same thing. It's very thick. It feels like it has a protective layer. I use this one at nighttime. Um, and then I just see such a difference in my under eyes um, when I'm using an eye cream. Another eye cream that I've been using that has completely piqued my interest is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Supercharged Complex Synchronized Recovery. So this one is like a really thick gel. And what's special about this one is that it actually fights the anti... <laughs> It actually fights the aging effects of blue lights on our face. So your phone, your TV screen, and we all know we're on our phones way too much. Even when I put it on my hand, I can like visibly see that it's smoothing and this provides 24 hour moisture. So this one is definitely one of my top faves. So I've talked a lot about my nighttime makeup, uh, makeup, uh, skincare products whoa hello welcome back to earth but i wanted to mention just like my basic moisture every single day underneath my makeup no matter what like right when i get out of the shower i'll do this this is the garnier skin active moisture balm this one is a good one because it's not too greasy it doesn't give you flashback um it's not going to make your makeup gunky and it has spf 30 which is just so important because i'm on the anti-aging team over here so I just wanted to mention this one because this is my absolute favorite. It's my go-to, it's my must-have. Next up, we have this. It's funny because I use this stuff and then now that I'm talking about it, I'm like, wait, what is this even called? I just, I use it all the time. I don't know what it's called. This is also from Drunk Elephant. This is the D-Bronzy Anti-Solution Sunshine Serum. Basically, this is like a cosmetic bronzer that you can mix with your moisturizer and put it on your face. Um, so I, I believe, I mix it with the marula oil and it looks really natural. Your skin looks glowy and it's like a good face bronzer for when you're pale like me. The only thing I have to say, I don't know why I'm criticizing it when I'm talking about this, probably seeking a different product is what it is, is that I wish, I wish it actually stained the skin because my problem is I always, I want my skin to be tan, fake tan. Um, but I'll use like loving tan on my face and it's just super, it's too much for the face. I'll be looking like I just came through like the desert storm or something, just like dirt. <laughs> so I love the way this one looks, but when you wash it off, it doesn't stain your skin. Some people might prefer that. I wish that they actually came out with one that stained your skin. But nevertheless, I still use it all the time. I really like it just during the day while I'm trying to look cute, trying to add a little bit of glow. I bet you could even mix it with your foundation too. I don't know why I just suggested that because I personally <laughs> wouldn't do that. Um, let me show it to you. So, I mean, it's coming off really orange right now, but you can see like if you're to mix it all over your skin, it's a really nice even glow. Hmm. Okay, next up, Rose Hair and Body Oil from Way. I've been obsessed with this. It smells so good. I wish there was, this was smell-o-vision. Mmm, I feel like a little garden daisy when I put this on after the shower. And I have a weird thing with like, putting on lotion seems so, how do I say this? I don't know, it feels like a lot of work after I get out of the shower. I'm not lazy. But this, I don't know, I just love doing this. I have no problem putting this on after the shower. I've, you see I got like oil all over it. You can also use it in your hair. So sometimes I'll do that when I'm on like day three, haven't washed my hair, I'll just put it in my hair and put it in the bun on like the ends. But yeah, this one smells so good and it makes your skin super, super soft. This is like my new fave. Another hair care product that I've been loving lately is this green tea conditioning spray from Tabi. This one smells super, super light and clean smelling, and I use it on my ends and even on my scalp. The green tea in this has a lot of antioxidants that are good for your scalp, which will help your hair grow. I've, I've been spraying this guy morning, noon, and night, just trying to, you know, you know, my forever struggle, trying to get my hair healthy. I really love this one because it helps smooth my hair out and helps it feel less dry. Um, and yeah, the green tea is good for your scalp too, to, try and help your hair grow. So this is definitely one of my faves. Another little guy that I wanted to mention is this Kapari Lip Love. 
this is like a coconut oil just like lip balm but I love this one it, it's always in my purse smells like coconut moisturizes your lips um, great for travel too especially when you know you get like your lips get dried out but it's a good one if you see it and you need something for your lips this is a good one next up I wanted to mention a concealer this is big news because anyone <laughs> who watches my channel knows I'm weird about concealer. I'll try like liquid and cream concealers for the sake of trying them or for the, for the sake of doing something different. But when it's just me on my own, I go to my powder and that's what I use and I don't like anything else <laughs> until now. I've been using the new Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer. I use it in vanilla and I love this concealer, you guys. <laughs> I love this for, especially like honestly when I'm vlogging, I'm pretty much always wearing it but it's really nice on the skin because it just brightens you up like when I put it on I'm like whoa my face looks clean <laughs> like you look bright and like you drank orange juice this morning I don't know I, I feel like it just makes the skin look so clean but the I don't know the consistency on this is so nice that you can wear it with no makeup and it doesn't look crazy some full coverage concealers like if you're not wearing full face with it and you put it on it's almost too thick it doesn't look right, like you have to wear it with a full face, or at least with foundation. This one you can wear on its own, or you can do it with a full face because it's the coverage is so nice, but it's not like that thick stickiness, you know? Um, anyway, so I just dot this guy, boom, 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 every single day. This is my, he's got my back. Okay, so next up, I really, really love this product. This is the Drunk Elephant Umbra Tint Physical Daily Defense Perfect and Glow. Protect and Glow. I'm just making things up over here. Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Zinc Oxide. So I heard that there's something about like zinc oxide as a physical sunscreen. So supposedly it protects your skin uh, more effectively than, you know, maybe I'll leave that to the professionals. It's good. I heard. Look it up. I don't know. Long story short, this is like a tinted moisturizer and it has a good SPF in it. So that like appeals to me. It makes my skin look smooth, but very like bare faced and dewy. So you can see it has very sheer coverage, but it has a little bit of a sheen to it. And I, yeah, I love this one when I'm not really wearing a ton of makeup and putting on sunscreen, I might as well use something that evens out my skin tone and looks really nice. The last product I'm going to mention today is, dude, like in love with this guy. Like one of my, like I'm so glad that it was sent to me. This is the Air, Air Boat. It would be helpful if I knew how to say it. Well, whatever, it's a good CC cream. So this is Herborean, Air, Herborean, Airborean. I don't think it's that hard. I think it's me. This also has an SPF 25 and it also has a really slight tint. I feel like this one is a little bit more pigmented than the Drunk Elephant. This one is like almost like you're wearing foundation, but it, it looks like naked skin. And it has like, I guess the shades adjust to your skin tone. So the, I don't know, this one it says Claire. When I put it on, I've never had a problem where I felt like it was too light or too dark. So when you first put it on, it's white. And then it actually adjusts to your skin tone. Isn't that nifty? I mean, you, I feel like even the back of my hand looks like smoother. Like it looks like you just have perfect skin and that you're not wearing makeup when you put this guy on. So those are all of the products that I wanted to mention today. Uh, I hope you guys found something you like, something maybe maybe you maybe you needed. I wanted to do a makeup tutorial, but I swear I was just stumped. I don't know if it was just me. My brain's not working, but I was like, dude, I do not know what to do for a makeup tutorial. So please help assist out. Let me know down in the comments, like what's something you guys wanna see? Do you wanna see tutorials, reviews? Um, I don't know, hacks, whatever you guys think will be helpful and whatever you wanna see here on my channel, definitely let me know. All right, I think that's all I have to say for now. Thank you guys as always for watching. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Calm down, Crispy. <laughs> Ha ha ha.